Very good afternoon to all of you. Thanks for joining us here on Mirror Now. I am Afrida Rahman Ali. We begin by getting you a big update, especially for those who are living in the national capital and looking to buy or sell property. Then you will now soon have to use a new method to value the property. Delhi government has proposed to revise the way properties are valued. This by creating as many as 32 subcategories from the existing eight categories that currently determine the circle rate, which is the minimum value at which any property transaction is done. Now, this is to ensure a more realistic valuation of property. So how will this impact your homes and properties? My colleague Avni Raja joins us to explain the process. Avni, we do not want to get entangled with jargon, for example, when we say circle rates. What are circle rates? What exactly has changed now in the process, Avni, in terms of uh, evaluating properties in the national capital region? Well, that's right. Now, circle rate essentially is the minimum uh, price or the minimum value at which any kind of property transaction uh, can actually go through. So uh, this is very important when it comes to any kind of a real estate transaction uh, that, that has to go through. And it is these categories here that we're talking about that actually determine the circle rate. So just to get to what exactly this proposal is, uh, essentially, uh, there are currently eight categories as far as Delhi is concerned. The entire national capital is divided into to these eight categories and it is based on these eight categories that the circle rate is determined and circle rate determines the amount of stamp duty, it determines the amount of registration that is paid. So this is an extremely important uh, metric uh, that is uh, actually there for property transactions. Now what is being proposed is that these eight categories will be divided, further subdivided into 32 categories. Uh, thereby this will then make the, you know, completely change the way these circle rates are determined. Uh, so four to five subcategories for each of the current categories is what is being proposed. Now, why is this being done and why is this important? Uh, now, first off, it will help, you know, getting a more realist, a realistic uh, uh, perception or realistic uh, value of the property market. So uh, that this is one thing which is very important and why this is being done. Uh, so currently, the categorization encompasses a much larger space. So one category has a very big area. So even in that area, there could be some parts which are more developed where the property rates are higher. Other parts of that same category could be uh, lesser developed and which will, uh, you know, demand a lower property uh, rate and a lower market price uh, there. So this is an, uh, you know, effort to sort of uh, do away with that differentiation that is being seen right now. Uh, so like I was pointing out, the big difference in this, in these circle rates within the categories is something that is, uh, they're trying to do away with now. Uh, last time these circle rates were uh, actually revised was back in 2014. So obviously there has been a lot of changed since then and it is important that the circle rates actually get revised and this will also also capture the infrastructure development uh, much more now if we can just go to the other uh, you know grid as far as the entire uh, way it is broken up i'll be able to explain uh, how this is going to work in terms of the current categories uh, so these are the categories what they are at this point in time so now each of these uh, that we are seeing A to H will further be divided into uh, different subcategories. Now, if you can even see here, the category A, the price is here 7,74,000 per square meter, whereas uh, uh, category B is 2,45,520. So the difference is quite huge, and that is the reason why uh, we need to see this, uh, you know, subcategorization coming in. Uh, so as far as users and consumers are concerned, uh, you know, you will now uh, be able to, once this goes through, you will have to, re, uh, you know, reassess what the value of your property is. And there could be a significant difference on how your property is actually valued uh, once these new prices come out. So it could either go up or go down. But what experts are saying uh, is that this will enable more transactions to take place because currently the market price of, for example, any, if you pick up any category, somewhere could be 40 to 50 percent more than the actual circle rate. Now, that is a huge difference, and that difference is what the aim is to actually do away with. So, uh, so essentially, this is what, uh, you know, this change is actually going to do once it comes through. Afrida. Yes, this is an important development and of course, like you said, Avni, it could mean a certain cost correction, it could mean a correction of prices, but we'll have to exercise caution in uh, sort of coming to that conclusion because only once it comes into effect can we understand whether there's a difference now in how a property was assessed earlier and after this new 
guideline or new subcategories rather that have come into play, whether that will make a huge difference in uh, the assessment of value. Let's welcome uh, Vijendra Chaudhary, real estate expert, joining us this afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Mr. Vijendra Chaudhary. Your first thoughts on what my colleague just explained in terms of these new categories that we have in valuing a property. What will this change or how will things change after this, Mr. Chaudhary? Well, okay, I'm told that Mr. Vijendra Chaudhary is not connected yet, but let's remember that what we are tracking right now is a big development in terms of real estate evaluation in order to address the value of property more realistically. The Delhi government has decided to create 32 odd subcategories under the existing eight categories of properties designated as A to H, which will determine the circle rates. The circle rate for all existing categories was last revised in 2014 and a revaluation exercise was going on to revise those circle rates. Now that process has been completed. Uh, the re-evaluation exercise was going on over the past few years and now these circle rates will be able to better capture the change in value of the properties due to infrastructure development. As we know, there would be multiple factors responsible uh, when it comes to evaluating the price of a property. So now, uh, Mr. Vijendra Chaudhary is with us. Uh, Chaud Vijendra Chaudhary ji, aap se zara samajna chahenge ki is tarah ke jo subcategories abhi create kiye gaye hain, usse kya fayda hoga jo property kharidna chahte hain ya jo bechna chahte hain, unke liye uh, kis tarah ka message uh, aap dena chahenge? Sorry, I'm not able to connect to Vijendra Chaudhary even now. So the problem is that we have to now understand this with greater clarity because whether these subcategories are going to increase the value of your property or decrease, that is something that remains to be seen. The idea is that with this uh, revised uh, circle rates, it could go either way, uh, depending on what category the property that you have or the property that you're wanting to buy falls under.